here we have the Janome um, 9300 DX. There's lots of versions of this and there's a 9200. Um, the, the, the threading process is very, very similar with the 93, the 92 and also the 8002, which has the button tension units. Um, but the, the threading process is very, very similar. So we're going to run through the, the threading of the loopers and also the needles. Um, and hopefully that will um, help um, when, you, when you're trying to get this lower, lo lower looper threaded, which is the most difficult bit. The first thing to say is that the sequence, many people work from the right to the left the actual sequence that you should use or the best one to use is three four two and one um, that if you use three four two and one the possibility of going wrong between the upper looper thread and the lower looper thread is lessened well it basically takes the possibility of getting it wrong away so we're going to go ahead with three and three comes down through the loop very very quick and easy and simple this one into there and then what what we are going to do as we go along is reposition the loopers and the position of the loopers to make it easier for ourselves so we're going to pop that through with the looper eye now that thread needs to go back underneath the foot you can go through there with it make sure that it doesn't catch on anything or you can come underneath the front if you come underneath the front you need to go underneath the front around the blade and then pull it through so we've got the needles there we're going to lift the needles up and you'll see that thread then goes out the back so that's number three so we're going to move on to number four and that one is the green so that goes into there and then you've got these eyelets these move very very fast when the machines move um, stitching so they're eyelets now the difficult bit we have a guide a green guide which is about there and then we have the end of the looper which is at the moment underneath there so what we're going to do is use the thread to our advantage we've got the looper at the moment on the far right we're going to get the thread and push it through there so that we have now got it over the other side then we're able to reposition the looper so that we can see from here if we look down in there very difficult to get the camera in there but we can look down in there and what we can do is just pop the thread into the guide there so you can see there if I put the tweezers up we've used the thread pull tight to position it underneath the guide pull it up and it pops into the guide there what we can also see is the end of the looper here and the eye that we need to go through. So we're going to just now get that guide. We're just going to reposition the camera. So we're going to cut the thread much shorter. And with tweezers, we're able at this point to push the thread through the eye and pick it up on the other side and due to the position of the camera I'm in the wrong place but there you go so now we've done that we're going to now turn the hand wheel and we're going to push the looper all the way back over to the right hand side and then we're going to use the tweezers to reach through grab the thread and pull it back through again 
reposition the looper ever so slightly so that we get access to the eye and we can pop the thread through the eye and pick it up there again the thread needs to go back underneath so I'm going to come to the front go underneath the blade sorry underneath the foot around the blade and then we're going to pull that back and that is the most difficult bit done we can shut the door there and then we've got the two needle threads which just come straight down and straight down underneath over the top down there we guide on the needle clamp and then through the eye of the loop the, the needle again underneath the foot around the blade and that one will pop back the right needle again is the same underneath over the top through there guide on the needle clamp and then through the eye of the needle One more time underneath the foot around the blade and now we have our four threads sticking out the back of the machine if we lower the foot when you turn the hand wheel hand wheels turned anti-clockwise same as the sewing machine and we can watch the mechanism if you're unsure of the threading always good to go through this process through three stitches if it hasn't jammed in three stitches you've most likely got it right. If you're unsure of the threading, don't be tempted just to jam fabric in there and stamp on the foot control. That's generally when it all goes wrong. A nice gentle turn on the hand wheel will tell you whether you've got it right or not. Hopefully that's of um, help and interest.